Welcome to PowerWiz. In this video, let's explore our flagship KPI visual and recreate this stunning radial gauge. The radial gauge in itself is displaying our sales versus target and I have added a couple of advanced text layers to give us more insights into our sales. The first text layer here is displaying the total sales amount. The second text layer is displaying versus target and it is telling us that we are 91k short of our target which is 13% and it's also giving us insights into our sales when compared to last year. So let's get started and see how we can recreate this in our flagship KPI visual. Let's get started. If you have not downloaded our KPI visual yet then head to App Source or our website to download the KPI visual. I'm going to add the KPI visual here to the new page. I have now added all the required fields into my category and the value section. You need to have a category in here which is a mandatory field and then you need to also have all the fields related to your values. For example, I have total sales, I have my sales target, variance sale last year percentage, variance sale last year value, the absolute value, variance target versus actual, the absolute value and the percentage. So let's get into the edit mode here. So this is where you'll be able to build the KPI visual. Let's click on these three ellipses here. You get to see all the different options that are available here. Let's start by adding in the radial gauge first. And the radial gauge, you have your gauge value, the actual value here. From here, I'm going to choose the total sales value. And I have the target type. You can either choose from data, that is a field or a measure. Or you can also add this from a fixed value wherein you can hard code the value right here. I'm going to choose from data here and I have my sales target measure already created. I'm going to click on apply and you can see that we're already getting our sales versus target percentage here. Let's customize this visual further. Let's head to the gate section here. You have various options to choose from. You have full circle, you have half circle and you have an arc. I'm going to choose an arc here and we can also customize the colors here. So let's choose a different color. I'm going to choose this hex code that I have here. And for the remaining arc custom color, I'm going to choose a different hex code. Enter the hex code here and then click on apply, click on apply and you can see that our colors have now changed. And there are various other options here that you can choose from. I would also like to have rounded corners and then click on apply. I now have rounded corners here. Let's go to the center circle section. In the center circle section, you have an option here where you can add a lot of layers. But for now, I'm going to make use of the advanced text layer which is within the KPI visual. So let's add that. I'm going to click on apply now. I don't have any values that are appearing here and let's click on cancel. Let's increase the size of this visual here so that you can see this better. And now let's start by adding in some of the advanced text layers here. I'm gonna click on advanced text layer and let's start by adding in our total sales value here. From the value button here, you can choose category or value. And from the value section, I'm gonna choose the total value here. The aggregation is going to be sum actual. I wanna prefix this with a dollar sign here and not have any decimal sign and then click on apply. I now have my total sales value being displayed here. I can simply click on apply. And now let's bring in this particular layer into our radial gauge. Let me resize this and bring this here, right here in the center. Let's add another layer here and let's call this as total sales and then let's click on apply. I have now repositioned the text layer. Let's add a shape layer here. I'm gonna click on shape. There are various shapes that you can choose from. I'm gonna choose this horizontal line here. Let me choose a little darker shade of gray here and then click on apply, click on apply. I've repositioned my shape layer as well. Let's start by adding in another advanced text layer. This time I'm gonna say versus target. The value that I'm gonna choose here is the variance target versus actual. And then I would like to have no decimal here and then click on apply. I now have my value being displayed here. Let me uncheck this option here which says auto fit so that it doesn't resize the size of the text. And now let's add the percentage as well. I'm gonna open brackets here, click on the value button again from the drop down. I'm gonna choose actual versus target sales percentage and make sure that you check this box which says percentage and if you want to have decimal values, you can do that as well and then click on apply. You now have the percentage being displayed here. Let's close the bracket here. And now I would like to add a conditional icon here based on the value. If my actual versus target sales value is greater than zero, then I would like to have an uptrend icon here and then click on apply, click on apply. And if this is less than zero, then if this is less than zero, then I would like to have this in downtrend and then click on apply, click on apply, click on apply. And now I have my value here. Now let's quickly conditionally format the color of this arrow as well. You can do that. Click on this FX button here and then click on add rule and then select the actual versus target sales percentage if this is greater than zero. Then I would like to have this in green, click on apply, click on apply. 
Let's add another rule. If my actual versus target percentage is less than zero, then I need to have this in red color. Click on apply, click on apply, click on apply. And now you can see that we have an arrow conditionally formatted and then let's click on apply and we have the text created here. And now let's quickly select the entire text here, head to the text section and then select 14, click on apply. And now we have our text created. Let's quickly bring this into our visual as well. I've now resized our versus target text layer. Let's create a copy of this. I can simply click on this duplicate layer option and bring the value right here. And then let's head to the edit section. And this time I'm gonna say versus last year. And then I just have to click on this value here. And from here, you can choose the variance sale last year and then click on apply. I've repositioned our text layers here so that they align together. And you can see that we've now created a beautiful radial gauge. You can also add ticks to the radial gauge. If you go back into the edit section under gauge, you have tick options here. You can enable marker labels. For example, you can enable the marker labels here and then you can also enable the access ticks. Click on apply and now you have the access ticks enabled. You can see that our sales versus target is at 87% and we have these ticks added to our radial gauge. It's extremely easy and time saving to recreate this visual in Power BI only by using the KPI visual by PowerVis. Do you want to create these stunning visuals in your Power BI report? Then you need to head to the app source or our website to download this visual today.